Well, I uh, got myself a new toy today. Well, sorta. Uh, this was actually given to me by a friend. Um, he has no idea where it came from or why he had it. He just had it in his pile of junk. So I said, sure, I'll take it. Um, this is the carrying case, which still has a tag on it. And the little protective film on the HP logo. Obviously, this is an HP portable photo printer. If you couldn't figure that out, um, you may not have seen one of these before. But anyway. Still has everything with it. All the manuals. This is the A440 PhotoSmart. Which is designed to be um, used with an HP camera or by itself. There's the... French manual and the warranty, special offers, and according to the copyright information, this is from about 2007, it's about four years old, never ever ever been used, still has the sample photo paper with it, one sheet, which I'm going to discard. Here's the software. This is the Windows and Mac OS X driver. It's all here. A couple of sample photos. Paper. Owner's manual on disk. It's all here. Power supply. USB cable. A brand new, unused, Vivera 11 cartridge. More packaging. <laughs> and the PA stud resist dump. The actual printer. Still in its protective packaging. And here is the shoulder strap. Carefully place that on the floor. All right, so let's go ahead and open her up. Get the packaging here all off. There we go. Some high quality stuff here. I've never owned a portable photo printer, but I have owned portable printers before. Actually, I've had quite a few. Um, one of them I wish I had for the sole purpose of making a video about. I had a Citizen um, thermal printer. It used uh, special thermal ribbons, and it was a portable battery-powered printer, and I wish I still had the damn thing. It was designed for the Macintosh. But anyway... I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing in and see if it even works. But let's open it up and see if there's some, some more paperwork inside. You know how HP loves their paperwork. Yep. <laughs> more paperwork. In German this time and Arabic. Here's the cartridge slot. Never been used. And, uh... Where does the paper go? Oh, okay, probably in the back. So in the back we have a little pop-out paper tray. Oh, I see how that works. When this is closed... Alright, I see. You know what's funny? When I worked in retail sales back in 2007, and 2006, and 5, and 4, and 3, and 2, and 1, we actually sold, all the places that I had worked at had sold these printers. The funny thing is, I've never seen anyone actually buy one. I kid you not. Um, I worked at an Office Depot and an Office Max store. And in those times, I worked at Office Depot for about two years, maybe three. And Office Max, I worked for about six months. I worked at a Walmart store when I was in high school. And of those experiences, I have not seen one person buy one of these printers. We always had them. Always had them in stock. Never sold a single one. So, uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. 
So let's put some uh, power to it. I have an outlet over here. And I got my laptop right there. We'll try to print something. Okay, the A440 was picked up instantly. And it is now wasting number one of the fur of the uh, sample paper. The ink cartridge expired in January of 2009. So, um, yeah, let's see how this comes out. This is actually doing a test page because you all know how much HP loves to waste ink and paper because in HP size, ink and paper is an unlimited resource that everybody has which is why the printer I have upstairs sucks up about six cartridges a year, and I only use it maybe twice a year. Figure that out. Anyway. So, apparently, um, that cartridge has uh, got some issues. I see green, I see red, I do not see blue. So we're going to have to run another sample test page. Um, because I don't have the HP printer to go with this, I mean, uh, camera, um, I can't... Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to try to print a photo to it using iPhoto. I'll print out this picture of my Honda Helix. So what we'll do is we'll, uh... Let's do file and print. We're going to do a, um... There's no borderless option, is there? We'll do a best quality. Four by six. Standard. Unfortunately, it looks like this printer cannot support borderless printing, which is kind of unusual. Um, Nope, most certainly cannot. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and print it. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Whoops. Okay. Now, so far, I've installed no software. Um, I have not calibrated the printer. I have not cleaned the heads. I've done nothing. If I had the HP camera to go with this, I would be able to do a, a full print cleaning, all that stuff, through the printer, uh, the camera's um, on-screen display. So the blue hasn't kicked in yet. Um, I may try to reseat the cartridge. Maybe that'll fix it. And then I'll print the photo again. Huh. Maybe there is something to that expiration date after all. But really, there is no hint of blue anywhere in this photograph. But it looks looks pretty good, actually. I'm kind of impressed. I just wish it supported a borderless uh, photo. That, that kind of sucks. Now we're going to test the water resistance of the print. Um, not bad. If I printed this on my other printer, it would have completely washed away. All right, we're going to go try uh, reseeding the cartridge. I did take the film off, right? Yep. Hey, wait a minute. I don't see... Well, maybe. I'm thinking I don't see... I only see two print heads, but I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. Um... It's interesting. Yeah, I see three rows of print heads. Okay, we'll put it back in. And there has to be a way to do a, a manual clean on this. I just don't know how. So maybe we should refer to the owner's manual. 
Well, luckily, through my Max control panel, I can actually clean the print heads, which is um, a handy little procedure. We'll see what that does. The printer is four years old, so we're actually using it for the first time ever. It's kind of cool. Um, I looked at the manual. There's no way to clean it from the um, from the owner's manual. I mean, from the, the control panel. So that kind of blows. Okay, it's supposed to print a test page, but there we go. I just loaded it up with some nice uh, fresh paper. So um, did not print a test page. So we will try that on our own. Here we go. Print. I will say, I, I ran that photograph under tap water, under the faucet, and it actually didn't run at all. And I'm amazed because the photos that I print on my other HP printer, the new one, are not waterproof at all. The ink runs with the slightest amount of moisture. So that's um, not printing blue, son of a bitch. There is no blue ink. So what do we have here? A dud of a cartridge or what? And that really pisses me off. Well, the good news is we got blue, but we lost yellow. I noticed it has a built-in page counter. We're now up to page 5. I just printed another test page. This time we have... Oh, this right here is a grid that tells you which nozzles are clogged. This is a nozzle check. So we've got a few clogged nozzles in blue. Uh, yellow is completely gone. Like, totally. We're now up to page counter number 6. And let me, let me emphasize that the paper this thing requires is not free. Um, this is very expensive photo paper, so I'm going to start reusing these. Um, and I'm not going to waste any more because, again, photo paper, as you all know, is not cheap. <laughs> at all. And the ink cartridge, which I might just have to replace, the number 110, um, Unfortunately, I may have to just replace it with a new one, so... Um, I'm thinking of giving this to my sister, who's a photographer, and I think she could get a lot of use out of something like this. It just needs a cartridge at this point, so... Uh, let's see how this comes out. Maybe we'll get yellow back. Oh, do I hope I get yellow back. We're on clean head number 50 million. I have no yellow, and I'm mad. Um, is the nozzle check any better? Mm, a little better. We've got a few sections that are looking good. Although this number seven is looking like a six and a seven printed on top of each other. We'll do another clean. We'll put this uh, back in. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I just realized that I used the same paper over, so that's why it came out that way, so... After you do three cleanings, it asks you if you want to help by HP. I have a feeling HP is not going to want to help me on this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, I think it's time for a new cartridge. It's just the cartridge is too damn old. Ain't that a peach? After it does a cleaning, it'll spit out a test page. And really all we're looking for is the return of the color yellow, which we had originally, and, well, it just went away. Damn it. Damn you! So, okay, so this is all the printer information. It, shows you any failures, errors uh, in the history of the printer, and uh, God knows what else. This is in bold because it's printed twice. Look at how precise that is. 
it printed right over the existing printout, which is why you got um, a couple of mix match numbers. It's pretty cool though. Alright, now I'm just gonna get it out. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna give it to my sister and say, here, have a free printer. You just need to buy new cartridges. Enjoy. Yellow's gone. Alright. Now we're gonna take the cartridge back out. We're gonna reseat it again. Then I'm gonna do another print. See, you can see there was yellow ink there at one time. So, let's try this again. Maybe there's a bad contact. Okay, we'll run the clean cycle again. Now, I've run about five or six clean cycles. Let's see how much ink we've used. Oh, it still says they're full, so that's good. And while that's a pretty neat effect, it's not really what I'm going for. So, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, what now? As you can clearly see, I still have no yellow. Um, damn it. I'm going to try something cool. I'm going to print the same photo on top of the same photo for like three or four print jobs. Let's see what that does. Um, I did, I know some of you are going to mention this, I did clean the contacts in the cartridge and I even soaked the cartridge in a, um, in rubbing alcohol, which usually takes care of them. The color print cartridge is faulty or incompatible with this printer with the error I just got on the screen. You know what? I'm starting to think that this printer sucks. That's what I'm starting to think. Um, so I think that cartridge is actually faulty. Go figure. Um, why now? Why all of a sudden? Why not yesterday? Why not four years ago when it was under warranty? Ah, uh, yes. Because it was never used when it was under warranty. And that is the um, one of the downfalls of new old stock products. See, there could be a cartridge problem or it could be something more serious. But because whoever owned this never bothered to, um, you know, use it while it was still covered, you see the problem. Um, same issue with my IBM uh, PS2 upstairs. Even though it was technically new old stock, um, it was never used under warranty, so when the floppy drive had failed in storage, it was never covered. So, anyway, so yeah, that's kind of a problem. This cartridge is definitely not good. So, and now the printer's even rejecting it, which is a shame. Because it's so nice not. Let's try restarting it. And this concludes our scheduled program.